Hello and a very warm welcome to HW News with me Ali Azhar for the business headlines of the day. Let's get started. Incidentally or coincidentally, as the general elections come closer, the income tax department seems to be swinging more into action. Perhaps in his attempt to prove that he is truly a crusader against black money, the IT department under the Modi administration has regularly been conducting raids and unearthing black money more than ever. In its latest series of raids and surveys over the last few weeks in Delhi, the sleuths of the Delhi Investigation Unit of the IT department have unearthed illegal financial activities of three groups of operators and busted a nexus of Hawala operators and a massive money laundering racket with a total value of a staggering 20,000 crore rupees. The first such case relates to fake billing racket where the illegal operators had floated a dozen or so bogus entities to generate such fake bills and book bogus expenses to avoid tax. The operators were busted after a survey was conducted in the Naya Bazaar area of the national capital and the racket was estimated to be around 18,000 crore rupees. In the second case, a highly organized money laundering racket was busted where transactions in well-known shares were fraudulently carried out and beneficiaries were found to be claiming bogus long-term capital gains. The taxman suspects that this scam has netted over 1,000 crores. However, they believe that it has been going on for years and this figure of a thousand crores is just a tip of the iceberg. The final racket was discovered when the IT department conducted searches against the group and found undisclosed foreign bank accounts and a well-established network of claiming bogus duty drawbacks relating to customs and GST taxes through over-invoicing of exports and estimates that this scam was upwards of 1500 crore rupees. The identities of the accused are not disclosed till now and a further investigation is yet to be carried out. Mobile wallet transactions, that is, financial transactions performed through mobile devices and not through cash or checks can be and can be used to pay for a wide range of services and digital or hard goods have hit an all-time high in terms of value as well as volume. Speaking at an event on digital disruptions in India, the National Cyber Security Coordinator and a noted cyber expert Gulshan Rai said on Monday that mobile wallet transactions in India have increased 40 times in the past 5 years and every service provider in the world is eyeing the Indian market. Stating that India is one of the most advanced countries in terms of such transactions, Rai said the digital economy in India was growing at one and a half times faster than the global average. He further went on to say that today the digital economy is around 15% of global GDP. But in India, it is only about 8% of the GDP and is likely to increase up to 30% of GDP by 2015. The volume of digital transactions in India have grown multifold after the large-scale demonetization exercise carried out by the Modi government in 2016. And there has been an inclination of people towards online transactions, largely due to ease of settlement, which is only furthering the cause of mobile wallet transactions. Vijay Shekhar Sharma led Paytm has topped the list of mobile wallet transaction operators. Others include mobile pay, phone pay, mobiquick, etc. The British economy is railing, with the effects of Brexit looming over its head like an axe. After growing 1.8% in 2017, the GDP growth of the British economy was just 1.4% for the year ended 31st March 2018, which was its lowest in six years since 2012. For a, successful Brit uh, for a successful Brexit arrangement, the UK needs to ink a deal with the European Union as well as get the same deal passed through its own parliament. While British Prime Minister Theresa May has managed to strike a deal with the EU, she is unable to convince her own fellow parliamentarians and hence fears have grown that Britain could crash out of the EU without a deal before the March 29th deadline. This has made businesses very nervous and clear signs of a struggling economy can be seen. 
after clocking their worst performance in six years, further bad news was on the horizon for the UK. And data for the three months ended December 2018 showed GDP growth at just 0.2%. Construction, production and services output fell for the month of December. And this was a and this was the first time since September 2012 that there has been such a broad-based fall in monthly output. The UK is currently the fifth largest economy in the world. However, India is set to overtake the UK and claim the fifth spot for itself sometime in 2019. Common sense dictates that Brexit played a big part in this. Thank you for watching HW News. This is me signing off. Have a great day. If you like this video, please share it and we would love to hear your comments in the comments section down here. Also, please do like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter to get minute to minute news updates. For more such shows and videos, well, subscribe to our YouTube channel.